Hey everyone, it's Cesari, and in this series, we are talking to some of the people who have made my album Violets Aren't Blue possible. And today we're here with Julia, aka Sleeping Geisha, who actually came up with all the artwork that you see for all the songs that I have released throughout the pandemic, and also the cover art for the album. Hi, Julia. Hi, hello. I started Sleeping Geisha as like sort of like a creative vomit. You know, aside because um, I'm a designer in the in in the industry, and and we tend to do a lot of things that uh we want to do for clients. So uh, basically, I just started Sleeping Geisha as like a creative output. I think we've we've met like about a few years ago, mm. and uh, from the very first artwork that we did until now, um, I I feel like we've I've really grown a lot as Sleeping Geisha. How exactly does my music, in particular, how does that help? then translate your idea and what kind of style of art would you say goes onto your canvas? I would say I'm a very free-spirited um, artist so um, I don't um, I don't usually like being like tied down into one particular style or one particular genre. When creating something or when doing a painting or an illustration, the emotional connection, it really just translate into the art itself. Yeah, so it starts off with like visions in my head. So um, like for example, like restless love. A vision, a picture in my head, a picture of this. Like when yeah, I, I was going to ask you, restless love. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Yeah, it's like all these like images and visions just like like popped up in my head. But the thing that was um challenging me was that it's not really like the style that I would go for. Um, if you were to see like it's slightly different than the mm-hmm. rest, but um, I just know that it's very strong. So from the first couple of artworks you were doing, they were more defined. And like yeah. they had more, <clears throat> they had more, they had more of a solid idea. Like you really wanted to be sure you wanted to show people this. From mm. that to restless love, restless <laughs> love is com- slightly more abstract, right? Mm. So it's yeah, kind of like yeah. I hope you understand it. Like you, mm. you've gone to, you've grown that much that you are now daring enough to say like you're gonna get, yeah. you're gonna get this. And that's funny that you say because like I was showing uh, one of my best friends the artwork. He, like, he was one of the first people I showed, showed it to. He, when he saw it, he was just like, holy. <laughs> he, he said three words. He said, this is art. That's all he said. He's like, this is art. Oh. And we were both looking at it going like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I felt like you really, you really absorbed whatever I gave you really well. And that's kind of the mark of, of like a great artist and collaborator. My last question for you is that if you had to pick a favorite design out of all the work that we've worked on together, what would it be and why? I would have to say the very final artwork that I did for you, which was um, <clears throat> the album cover itself yeah. for uh, Violet's Arm Blue. There's just like a sort of like a, like a heartfelt feeling. Like after I finished the artwork, like, like, like it was a great creative journey. Yeah, through the whole projects and briefs and like how my art actually like matured mm. as well through. Next time when you want to do a case study, you can just go to like <laughs> Spotify or Apple Music and then go like, look at the discography by date. <laughs> anyway, exactly, Julia, exactly. Where, where, can we, where can we find you on social media and stuff? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Sleeping Geisha. Cool. Thank you so much, Julia. Everybody, cool. Sleeping Geisha, Julia. Uh, Thank you. Please go and check out her art. Please go and support her. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today, Julia. Thank you.